Hey everybody, welcome to another No Swear Gamer video. Today in the mail, I got the Atari.io Retro Junk Box number nine. What a retro junk box is, it's a large flat rate party mailbox. It's filled with all sorts of retro goodness, retro games, movies, and stuff like that. Uh, someone starts the box, you got a list of participants, and when you get it, you could take out whatever you want as long as you fairly refill it and then you send it on to the next person. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I took out. And in the future video, because you want it to keep a surprise, I'll show you what I put in and some of the other stuff that I passed on. So first up, how about some Empire Strikes Back Tops trading cards with a cool homemade kind of uh, holder there. I, I, I dig that. I like that touch. I don't think it's the whole set, but I think it'll still be a cool thing to look through. Next up is Wave Race 64 for the Nintendo 64, which of course is a sequel to Wave uh, Wave Race 63, which I have not played. But yeah, I, I look forward to playing this. I remember playing this uh, at my uh, friend's dorm room and it was a really fun game. And then for the Super Nintendo, we got Super Black Bass because everything was super on the Super Nintendo. Got a couple ColecoVision uh, games. I don't have a ColecoVision yet, but whenever I have a chance to pick up games in a situation like this, I go ahead and do it. So these are two I don't have in my collection, Centipede and Subrock. And maybe one day I will get a ColecoVision and I can play them. And I'll already have like a little library going. Also got... F1 Race for the Game Boy in the uh, case, which is always nice. Got Space Dungeon for the 5200, just like the ColecoVision. Don't have a 5200, but when I have a chance to pick up another game for my small library that's slowly uh, growing, I go ahead and pick it up. I do have a Game Boy Advance, so I got a copy of Monopoly. It's sealed. Box is crushed a bit, but that's pretty cool. For the Super Nintendo, I got F1 Rock 2 with the manual in this uh, case that it came with. And also Family Feud for the Super Nintendo. Couple PS2 games. I got Disney's The Haunted Mansion. As a kid, The Haunted Mansion was one of my favorite rides in Disney World. And also I got Secret Weapons Over Normandy, which... Uh, I was kind of going back and forth, and then I saw that it was made by LucasArts, and I usually like their stuff, and I, I like Flight Sims, so we'll see how this one turns out. And finally, probably the thing that I'm most excited about, Pitfall the Big Adventure for the Wii. It probably won't live up to the Pitfall games that I adore on the uh, 2600, but hey, why not? Let's give it a try. Who knows? Maybe I will be impressed. So there you go. That's what I took out of uh, the Atari.io Retro Junk Box number nine. Be sure to check them out. Go to forums.atari.io. Really great community there. Thank you to Rosdauer for hosting the box. Really appreciate that as well. Oh, go ahead, click like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time on the next No Sword Gamer video. Take care, everybody.